I don't think it's a full driver, but it's YouTube, which means... You have to hit driver. It is time for another course vlog here down at the beautiful Bearwood Lakes. And I am joined by one of the very best lady professionals in the game today. It is Olivia Cowan. Now, I've already done a video with Olivia. How are you? Very good, thank you. How are you? I am good, thank <laughs> you. If you've not checked out the previous video, please do. It will be linked in the video here where there was, uh, well, there was some very good golf, some very bad golf and some dramatic conclusions to the overall match. Now in this video, I am gonna be joining Team Mizuno. So I've got a full set of Mizuno clubs, which I will talk through. Olivia also has a full set of Mizuno clubs. And the back nine of Bell Lakes here, we're gonna do a nine hole scramble. So we're both gonna tee off, pick the best shots, and then go from there and see what we can shoot. Get down into those comments below. Let me know what you think we are going to shoot. What do you reckon? Has to be a low one. Has to be a low one. Has to be a low one. One under, two under? What? I mean, I was going to go with six. Six under? I... Tempering those expectations. Right, okay. I'm going to go, oh, I have got a Kurokage 60 gram X Flex in the S200. 9.5? Why is there a set of 9.5? Obviously, don't know what an absolute baller I am. <laughs> Should go straight anyway, I hope so. There's only a uh, three. What's that say? Look at that. Three. Three ninety-three. Three ninety-three. Now, if you don't know anything about Olivia, you know this. She's one of the straightest hitting professionals I've ever seen, or amateurs, or anyone really. Obviously, nine point five is the uh, <laughs> I mean. is the right degree for me. Wow. Honestly, I don't know what's happened to me today. Look at that. Nice shot. So down here at Bearwood Lakes, they've got the Mizuno European Tour Performance Studio. And I came down here to get fitted for my irons. Whoa good six months ago and I've absolutely loved them but one thing I've always found in the past that Mizuno drivers they've always been a bit meh apart from last year this S200 I think is a brilliant driver that really not many people have tried also the wedges I think have been vastly underrated for quite some time and also Olivia has got some very fancy irons as well so it might be a little bit it might be a bit of a Mizuno loving today but I don't care. I'm at a beautiful golf course with beautiful golf clubs with beautiful people and Craig on the camera. <laughs> 101, about 190 meters, 9 meters. It's very complicated, all this. So, kind of into wind a bit. New wedge for the day, so this T20. I'm not. I'm not saying that the blue is my favourite colour, but it certainly spins nice. Well, the ones I've tested in the past, it's a new wedge. I'm guessing it's going to spin pretty well. Behind the pin, just try and rip it back and such. I feel like the wind switched then. <laughs> It's good. It's a good job we did have some spin on it. <laughs> Almost pitched in the bunker and came back out. Nice. No. No. See now, now the wind's kind of hit us now. That's tricky, you see, Bell Lakes. It's very well. You can see in amongst the pine trees, the wind kind of funnels in and out a little bit. Mine, it didn't have any wind, and as soon as Libya hit, you could feel the wind pushing through. So. A little bit of luck involved, I think. Never ever used the Mizuno putter before. Again, an interesting shade to my eye. Quite blue. I'm a bit colorblind though. It's blue. Thinking off that bit of a leaf there. Yeah, maybe yeah. a bit left of it. Do a bit left of it. It was just pace and line missing. That was the only thing. 
It was more about giving Olivia the line, to be honest. Might be the first part I hold all day. She said to me walking down, she said, you just give me that line <laughs> and I'll box it. No problem. And that is what happens. There we go. <laughs> One deep already. Teamwork. Makes the dream work. See, that was seamless as well. That was seamless. Second hole, par five. Super secret driver on the go for Olivia. And again, that's another fairway here. Just to, uh... oh. Just to warn everybody, Olivia plays incredibly boring golf. Like no rough, no water, nothing. Just fairway. Sorry, sorry. I don't know. So, as I was saying, Olivia plays such consistent, beautiful golf that that's the ball that we're going to take. Thank you. Weapon of choice, S200. Into that. How's your autofocus, Craig? Nailed it. It's all manual. Craig's a professional. Uh, well, perfectly in front of the green there, so oh, no pressure here. Little cut up into the wind, holding it there, bringing it down softly. Dish bash bosh, roll in for an eagle. Eagle runs a winner. Held it up, it's gone right. Go, 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 go. Oh, too bad. Just off the right hand side. That'll do. <laughs> Olivia doesn't seem too impressed with me on that one. I maybe talked it up a little bit too much. Pin high, or pin eye, uh, lob wedge, the blue mystical goddess of wonder. It looks like it's going to slope quite a bit right to left, so. Well, all I'm here for around now is just to give Olivia the guide, so. Yeah, okay, not bad. I would expect a tour professional of Olivia's standard class and fortitude to get inside that relatively easily. No pressure. I know, we're on the same team, I really should be like <laughs> Sorry, I, I shouldn't have. That was all your fault. I know, it's old habits die hard, you see. As soon as I'm on the course with someone, I'm trying to like just put them off, even when they're on my same team. Weird, isn't it? Weird golf. Weird. Weird thing. I do like how Olivia's not got anything out of her bag. Just like, no, you're good. You got this. I believe in you. <laughs> I, I'm not sure I believe that you believe in me. Maybe I'm just being paranoid, but come on. Here to check. Easy. See, I believe then. Good. I believe. See, what happens when you can build your partner up and not try and tear them down? I will learn. Thank you. I will learn from this. The M Craft. See, I've never used a Mizuno putter. I've not actually seen a Mizuno putter before. And yeah, I mean, the actual behind the ball, it looks really, really nice. I'm not sure about the blue color, but that's just personal preference and I'm pretty sure it does come in other shades a little bit less Evertonian Evertonian is that an Everton colour? a bit darker aren't they? who's the light blue? Coventry 2 light blue it's not City City is that's a bit sky blue though isn't it? it's like an Everton top that's been put in the wash a little bit too much that kind of colour and usually I'm a little bit more of a traditional boring type of putter however sits nice feels nice and I think again it's just one of those things that shows like manufacturers now pretty much throughout the bag you know just producing really 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 good stuff and just offering that little bit of an alternative 
Well, if I go, if I hit first, like this should be a, a seven iron. So if the wind <coughs> does hit it. Don't laugh. If you've watched the previous video, you'll know that my shot selection today hasn't been uh, stellar. <laughs> on seven two. Um, seven iron, Craig? Good. Yeah, little ones. <laughs> That's massive! <laughs> That's it, the bushes at the back! Oh wow, yeah, okay, there is a bit of wind up there. So the wind's more that way, I think. Yeah, a little bit. Oh. Hey. This sense was alright. <laughs> Not the type of shot I'm automatically comfortable with at the moment. My short game isn't at its sharpest, I would say. Flop it up there. Actually not bad. Quite pleased with that. Get it. Nice shot. Nice. Good shot, partner. Thank you. See? It's starting to work at the team. It's start, starting to, start to work it. starting to work it. <laughs> no filter again. Will you stop doing this to me? <laughs> right. <laughs> I just go grab my pocket. <laughs> I mean, come on, look at that. That's an absolute disgrace. Oh. What am I doing? Well, I, I, I'm going to take that one. I'm going to take that one for the team. I should have hold it. Okay, ST200 has been flying, and we didn't cover ourselves in too much glory that last hole. But we're going to bounce back with a birdie here because I'm just going to slaunch this one. Yes, that's a word. Over the corner. <laughs> I don't know how far it is to the water, but I think we can just about get past it. Go on. Go on. Oh, okay. Easy. <laughs> it's going absolutely miles that. Let me let me zap that. Caddy would be proud. <laughs> so I somehow ended up like level with the green. I don't know how far this is, but it flew. That was pretty impressive. Don't really think this is. I almost feel like I've got to chip it short, but I'm just going to try and fly it on the front edge. Yeah, it's definitely a. I think it's almost like a chip and run. I don't know why I just didn't go back to my bag. <laughs> you just bounce it off a sprinkler there. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Expertly played. Right, I'll let you bring your potty this time. Okay. Back to two. Deep. Too deep. <laughs> One five seven. A little late, I think. A little late. A little punchy one. Feel it in. Just don't think about it too much. Oh, a bit of the number. Here the number. A little late, I knew it. Never <laughs> never ended out. <laughs> Greens. Stop being so professional about things. Greens and regulation. <laughs> well, I pulled it, but. Started it left. <laughs> oh, that wasn't very good.
just just when I thought you might have missed the fairway. Just just when I thought there was a possibility. No. Ah. But I don't think I'll be taking mine on this one. A little bit thick over there. Have you ever seen Jumanji, the original? Jumanji. That's where my ball is. 201. Playing 180 meters, I believe. So I'm gonna be a math genius by the end of today's round. I can sense it. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. That wasn't very straight for you, that. Uh uh, it's getting it's, yeah. it's getting late in the day. <laughs> oh sh That's why I don't draw it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I kind of thought I'd say I'm about too far right, but I did think it was going to come back at all. Oh. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Fairway machine. Just landed. <laughs> Absolutely ripping it. I think I'm in that bunker, so Olivia sent a strike count as she's known. Come on. Man. Work it. Work it. What? Hmm. <laughs> now I'm confused. Did you strike that well? Yeah, I did. I don't, why did I just play like a little floaty three wood? Craig, why don't you tell me to play a floaty three wood? Uh, Answer me, man! Too busy pressing the record button. <laughs> well, like, as long as you do that, I'll forgive you. That's that's the main thing we've got to get right. When I say straight, right edge. <laughs> Don't quite understand that. So, two holes to go. Let's try and get two birdies. Let's give the people what they want. Olivia, it's time to break out the big guns now. Not on this straight driving, not on these fairways. We need a 350 bomb. You might be the straightest hitter that I've ever seen on a <laughs> golf course. Absolutely ridiculous. Whoa, look at that move. Well, a decent distance, but again, I think we're on. I think we're on with Olivia again. Pete's gone off to find his ball again. So I'm taking over the commentary for this shot. We've got 77 meters. I'm going to take a lovely 56 degree wedge and there's a little ridge behind the hole, so I'm just trying to try and land it behind it and spin it back into the hole. Let's just see how we get on. I mean, that looks pretty good to me. Ooh! Ooh! Nice, there we go. I mean, just look at that. We kind of need to make it because we're not playing great today. 
bit right to left, say just a tad outside the cup. So many of them today, it's ridiculous. Oh, you walked it in. There we go. Final hole, 400 yards, just within range. <laughs> um, I literally can't remember what's down there. I know that this is where they're digging one of the new water hazards. I don't think it's a full driver, but it's YouTube, which means... You have to hit driver. She's a pro. No, no, no idea. Up the left side. We'll see. It's probably one of the water hazards. The new water hazards. This has to be the most ridiculous display of driving I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, it is a talent. <laughs> I don't mean to brag, but it is a talent. In all fairness, you should. I think that's, you put every fairway in reg this nine, 100%. Unbelievable. Hit that like button if you want to hit it as straight as Olivia. Scientific studies have shown people who like videos that Olivia's on actually get a 90% increase in driving accuracy. And that is a fact. That was one of those where you're just watching it in the air all the way and you're like, this is going to be it. This is the moment where I end the vlog with an eagle. The crowd goes wild. The diggers start honking. Fireworks erupt from the top of the clubhouse. But no, it's short. Miles short. <laughs> Again. Bit more break. Yeah. Go. Oh. oh. Good part. Well, if anything, I hope you have enjoyed one of the most impressive displays of driving I have ever seen since Le Mans 66. It is, of course, Olivia Cowan, the straightest driver of the golf ball on planet Earth, potentially the whole universe, although we don't know who else is out there. Right, guys, just want to say a massive, massive thank you, first of all, to Olivia for actually taking the time out for play. We've done a full day of filming today. It's never, never easy, and it's certainly been a little bit nippy and cold. Of course, thank you all for watching, and of course, to Bearwood Legs for an absolutely wonderful golf course. Very excited to see what the 18th and the 1st are going to look like with these two new lakes as well, even though one of them just swallowed uh, the last picks in my bag. Right guys, just want to say huge thank you. Get down into those comments, <laughs> get emotional, like the video, and we'll see you next time. Hot chocolate then. Yes, with marshmallows. Hot chocolate with marshmallows, we've earned it. <laughs> you go get yourself one as well. <laughs>